Ahoy there, matey. Are you ready to hear the gripping tale of the ship called the Paintbrush of the Sea that sailed in search of extraordinary treasures? But on the voyage, they came across a giant octopus. Ah! The sailors were about to confront it when the creature spoke. Don't be afraid. I may be an octopus, but I'm also an artist. I just wanted to ask you about your beautiful boat. Our friend the octopus wants to know how to make the Art Attack paintbrush of the sea. It's made with a reused plastic bottle, which is why it floats. You'll need a bottle like this one. Ask an adult to help cut the bottle here. Once it's done, it will look like this. Now make sure you keep this bit for later on. And so it doesn't roll around in the water, we'll use these little drinking yoghurt pots. Let the journey begin! The first thing you need to do is pierce the bottle here, on each side. Ask an adult to help you. Then make a hole in each of the yoghurt pots, so they look like this. Now carefully pass a wooden skewer from one side to the other, through the holes in the bottle. And then, on each side, attach the yoghurt pots. This will make the boat stable. For our boat to move in the wind, we need a sail, which will be attached to a mast, which is like a tall pole. To make it, you'll need a chopstick or any other long piece of wood, a bottleneck and a sheet of cardboard. Let's start by making the base of the mast. Take the part of the bottle you had left over and place it on a sheet of cardboard. Draw the outline with a pencil, like this. Then cut out the outline and you'll be left with this shape. Place it on top of the bottle. Now the end of the card needs to be curved upwards. To do that, just wet it with a brush and gently bend the cardboard. Dab on a bit of Art Attack paste to make sure the cardboard remains hard and stays curved. See, it fits perfectly. For the ship's mast, you need the neck of another bottle. Put some modelling clay inside it, filling it all the way up to the edge so it looks nice and neat. Stick a chopstick through the modelling clay and then take the neck to the cardboard like this. Now it's time to paint the boat. For that, you're going to need strips of brightly coloured crepe paper. We're going to glue them inside the bottle with Art Attack paste, which is made up of half glue and half water. Let's continue. When you've cut out the strips of crepe paper, glue them on the inside of the bottle with a brush. As the bottle is transparent, you'll see how the colour of the paper shows through. When you get to the edge, put a little more paper on to smooth it out. Now, do the same thing to the mast. We'll use yellow, but you can use whatever colour you want, of course. But remember, the colour in this type of paper bleeds a lot, so you may get your fingers dirty. But don't worry, it washes off with water. Make sure to cover the bottleneck really well. When people ask you how you made the boat, they'll be surprised. And lastly, put some glue around the edge and stick on the cardboard piece with the mast. Now that is cool. But hang on. I think I hear the sound of the wind. Oh, and we still need to give the sailing boat a bit of colour and a fine sail. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Draw some portholes around the mast. Portholes are those small round windows that you see on a lot of boats. These long lines will make it look as though this surface is made of wood. It's called a deck. How about these decorative bolts on the stabilisers? This lovely pink colour is quite similar to the crepe paper but you can paint your sailboat whatever colour you want, of course. The windows are blue, so they look like they're made of glass. And use some orange paint on the decking to make it look even more realistic. Lastly, with a silver marker, colour in both ends of the stabilisers. Now it's time to make the sail on this large sheet of paper. First, draw a triangle with a ruler. Draw in a small square on the side to attach it to the wooden stick. When you cut it out, glue it to the mast, using the square as a kind of flap. Have a look at this. We've added these Art Attack splodges and then, with a black felt-tip pen, put in some more detail. 
Thanks for watching. If you want to watch more Disney Junior shows, click here. To watch more Art Attacks, click here. Of course, you can subscribe by clicking this button down here. We'll see you soon and stay creative.